Good morning, everyone. It's PT, and it is time to rise and shine. You know, uh, I'm going to deviate slightly from my uh, normal approach on the rise and shine. Uh, yesterday was my birthday. Some of you wondered uh, how old I am. I'm 58 now. At least I was 58, <laughs> well, close to it at the time of this recording. If I happen to leave this world between when I recorded this message and today, then uh, I guess it's okay. To be absent from the body is to be present with God. I'm not trying to get to heaven sooner than I'm supposed to. I got that. Um, but I'm also, I'm also inclined to believe that the Lord has a plan and that each of us has a duration. And my prayer and desire would be to be able to make this journey with you to walk in love. He is our faithful God. The great gift of life means so much less if there's nothing more than this. But to have Him and to have love and to be present in this moment with you is a gift to me for which I am grateful. So I'll pick back up tomorrow, but I just want to thank Him for the gift of life. Love you all. Let's rise and shine on this good day. Good morning, everyone. It's PT, and it is time to rise and shine. Okay, so good to be alive. So good to be with you. So good to share this blessing. We've been talking about living a life full of love. And, you know, I joked yesterday about <laughs> maybe uh, leaving this world sooner than I had planned. And, um, <laughs> you know, technically, when you go to heaven, it's a promotion. I mean, if you really want to get down to it, according to the Lord, uh, it's better than what we have now. But I'm not in a hurry. I hope he gives me many more years of contribution and the ability to make a journey with so many of you. Um, you know, maybe decades. That would be awesome. That would be great. But between now and then, and we don't know when then is, we get to live a life a life of love. I hope it's a life in love with God, in love with people who he's given me to love, and then a life characterized by his love working in and through me. A gift, if I can say it poetically, from above. Like I know the Lord wants us to live a life of love, that this is a meaningful contribution. And he's not just said, do it without giving us a game plan or an example or his pre presence and power to do it. So let's walk in love. And remember, you are loved and so am I. Lord bless you all. Let's share his love together. Good morning, everyone. It's PT and it is time to rise and shine. We're talking about living a life of love and of course, Nobody modeled that better than, than our Lord when he was alive and ministering on this earth. He was full, the Bible says, of grace and truth. He modeled love, a life of love and a life of truth. And he didn't exclude one from the other. Um, as we will see, Lord willing, in the days ahead, love and truth are inextricably linked together. They're intertwined to to say we love God and then depart from his truth as he defined it is not according to Jesus to live secure in his love. Like love rejoices in truth and truth rejoices in love. They go together, <laughs> you know? I, I think that that though we get to decide, I mean, and that really is a reminder that in life and in love, there are two things that are ours opportunity while we're alive in this world, opportunity and choice. And we have an opportunity to love, no question, but we get to choose how we're going to and if we're going to. All of us have an opportunity. We must exercise choice. What will we choose today? Let's choose to love and love God's way. Grace and truth in Jesus' name. Good morning, everyone. It's PT, and it is time to rise and shine.
Let's go. Let's get up and going. Let's follow Jesus better. Part of following Jesus is to love the way he taught us to love. That's the opportunity we've been given and the choice we are invited to make. Really, if you think about it, he didn't leave us in a vacuum without any clarity. He gave us a couple of things. One, he gave us his example that we see in his word, how thankful we should be. I mean, the model of Jesus, the way of Jesus, the way he was when he walked on this earth. In the limitations of humanity, he showed us as the son of man what it means to love well in this life. But he also has given us, because of his death and resurrection, the power to live a life of love. Now, we don't always take advantage of that the way we should and the way we can, the way we could. But I believe God has made his presence and his spirit available to us so that we can walk in his love, that we can follow in his steps, that we can be his disciples, right? his students, his committed ones, following the master in the way that we should go. I want to love better. And I think you do too. Lord Jesus, help us to love better, to love the way you loved. In Jesus, in your name we ask it. Amen. Good morning, everyone. It's PT, and it is time to rise and shine. We're talking about the love of God. We're talking about the example of Jesus how he showed us the way to love, how he gave himself away. You know, his love was other-oriented. It really was. Ah, the Son of Man, we're reminded in the scriptures, came not to be served, but to serve. Right? He came to give his life as a ransom for many. Um, when we look at Jesus, we see a life that is motivated by love, love for the Father, love for us, and out of that love flows a willingness to serve and a willingness, in his case, to sacrifice. And if we can add that third S, a willingness to suffer. Um, all these things he did because he loved us. Now, I don't want to suffer, but if I love, I must be willing to. And that's deep waters right there. Love can serve and love can sacrifice. But there are times when love will even suffer. Jesus modeled that on the cross. He did. He showed us what it looks like. I just ask that the Lord would help. Lord, help me not to be afraid. Not to be afraid of things. Remind me that love is willing to serve. Love is willing to sacrifice. And at times, not that we're looking for it, love is even willing to suffer if it means the blessing and welfare of others. Lord, teach us your ways in Jesus' name. Good morning, everyone. It's PT, and it is time to rise and shine. You know, we're talking about Jesus and the example of love. And man, there is no other, well, there's no better example than Jesus. We just keep our eyes on him, fix our eyes. Um, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. But the thing about the Lord's love, it was other-oriented, wasn't it? It was selfless. We talked about how the love of Jesus is sacrificial. That's what the cross is all about. It models sacrificial love. And yet at the same time, one of the most amazing things about Jesus, when I, and I see it evidenced on the night of his betrayal as he washes the disciples' feet, is that even though he was committed to sacrificial love, he still, in the context of that commitment, exercised sensitive love. And if you think about it, that's so amazing. Because a lot of times to sacrifice, we have to make ourselves firm and strong. And yet Jesus modeled that even in the midst of his preparation for the walk that he didn't want to take through the streets of Jerusalem to the cross on Calvary, he was still able to be present and exercise sensitive love. He washed their feet. He said, you know, if, this, if I, your master, can do this, you can do this for the other, for one another. Oh, what an example. Lord, remind me, you want us to have both sacrificial love, but never, never to forget what you also call us to sensitive love. That's a reminder for all of us in Jesus' name.